Hello everyone, my name is Jared Alexander. Um, today is the 30th of November 2020 and for this week 8 video I was going to go with the, um, the favorite which would be the central nervous system um, as far as a uh, for what we studied so far. Um, pretty much what the central nervous system does is made up of two different um, systems. You have the um, autonomic and the um, parasympathetic nervous system, the central nervous system, and then the peripheral nervous system, really. Well, the autonomic and the per, um, parasympathetic is part of the um, central nervous system, and then, then you have the uh, peripheral nervous system, which are the nerves, uh, um, the uh, efferent nerves from the um, or sensory nerves, sorry, of the periphery and that pretty much tell everything to the central nervous system and then you have the central nervous system that senses all these things and provides motor control um, command and control for all the various functions and organs and muscles of the body so with the uh, clinical and surgical specialties uh, for this system you have for the clinical you really just have um, they can be outpatient, mostly um, general practice of individuals who um, specialize in certain aspects of this nervous system. So an, an example would be um, an ear, nose, and throat doctor, or a, specializing with the um, specifically like one of the systems of the central nervous system, which would be like the hearing, the ear, um, like an audiologist would, uh, or an optometrist, people that are really, they just working out of a clinical outpatient uh, or even um, some hospital settings and it's not invasive it's non-surgical in nature um, some things such as checking uh, physicals uh, doing physicals for cdl like uh, truck drivers there's a brief little um, mini neurological exams uh, that they do to make sure that they can operate uh, school buses or snowplow trucks those kind of things uh, as far as surgical specialties, those go more in depth, such as uh, neurosurgeons, um, neurovascular surgeons, ophthalmologists, they do really delicate uh, surgeries with the eye, um, um, uh, such as, you know, removing, removal of cataracts or eye surgeries or repairing traumatic injuries to an eye. Uh, the organ that I choose for the system is going to be the eye just because it's pretty uh, intense. <laughs> it is um, kind of one of those uh, miraculous organs that does a lot for us. And so as far as the anatomical, oh yeah, these are my notes. It's written down here on the other side of my sheet. Um, it's enclosed within the skull by uh, the frontal bone, uh, zygomatic bones, um, and the nasal bones, uh, ethmoid, and the lacrimal bones and sphenoid bones. And it's open to the anterior aspect, so it can actually, to the external environment, so it can see for us. It's an extension of the cranial nerve two. Um, that being said, it's considered part of the central nervous system. Um, and the cranial nerve goes to the optic chiasm, which uh, runs through, uh, joins by the hypothalamus and past the pineal gland. Um, the main function of this, uh, this organ is to provide a sight uh, and light visual uh, stimulation so we can see our external environments. And also that light also stimulates the pineal gland and production of melatonin. Um, as part of like the central, uh, the um, nervous system is part of what, what it does for us uh, in regards, it's again, it takes external stimulation and help and converts it into images for us, for us to see. Uh, we see light that is reflected back and that's, then our brain uh, interprets it. So the eye is superior to the zygomatic bone. Uh, it's superior to it and also medial to it, um, where it's uh, cradled in the, uh, that bone there. And it's inferior to the uh, frontal bone. And then the um, nasal bone off to the, uh, to the medial aspect with the part of the zygomatic bone to the inferior and the uh, um, lateral aspect of it. And it is post, it's anterior to the sphenoid, ethmoid, and palatine bones. And it's anterior to the uh, brainstem, midbrain, 
uh, thalamus and hypothalamus sits somewhat uh, inferior to the um, cere um, cerebrum. Um, and it's, as I mentioned before, it's lateral to the uh, lacrimal bones. And it has optic forma. Uh, it has a, brain, a skull foramina that helps innervate it and also control, uh, allows muscle, muscles and uh, neurons, I'm sorry, central uh, cranial nerves to pass through to innervate, uh, provide sensory and also um, sensation and also uh, motor control of the eye. Uh, such as cranial nerves 3, 4, and 6. Cranial nerve 2 passes through the, um, uh, the optic canal through the sphenoid. That's the optic nerve. Um, and the cranial nerves 3, 4, uh, 5, which is for the face, and also 6 travel through the foramens of the, the uh, sphenoid as well. Uh, that is for, it, for the um, anatomical landmarks and also the uh, foramen that help innervate and provide motor function for the eye. That's all I have. Thank you.